Dr. Greger has weighed in on the argument, the debate about whether or not plant-based diets can reverse heart disease. Check out this clip that a viewer sent me from an exclusive interview Dr. Matthew Nagra did with Dr. Michael Greger. And um, another one that this is very recent and actually on Saturday, I know Dr. Ornish, uh, Dr. Uh, Kim Williams, uh, Dr. Danielle Blardo, they're going to have this um, sort of conversation around heart disease and if it's truly reversible. And so kind of where the, the argument stems is that when we look at like Dr. Ornish's research, there's a 3% regression and that's apparently not clinically relevant or, or in the scientific literature for actual uh, regression, you need a um, was it a 10% change in percent stenosis? Like, what would you say about these sorts of, I mean, ultimately, I think the event reduction, the reduce uh, reduction in heart disease risk that we get with a plant-based diet is more than enough. But uh, as far as the nitty gritty of whether we can truly claim reversal, what would you say to that? Of course we can claim reversal. So what they're doing is they're trying to use some uh, statin definition that was used, for example, in the asteroid trial. Um, but that's just talking about stenosis. Um, there, I mean, look at, uh, look at Ornish's PET scan data, like a 300% increase in uh, blood flow to the heart muscle itself. That's what we care about, um, compared to the control group, right? I mean, we have to think about the collateral arteries, the, the, the improvement in function. We are reversing the progression of heart disease, not just symptom wise, but literally in terms of how much oxygen is getting to the heart muscle. That's what we care about. And then this then translates into reduce into reduction of, of events. Um, what else do we have to need? Why people are bringing up this ridiculous kind of semantic, silly arguments makes no sense to me. And I think Dr. Ornish is going to school some folks. Okay. You should join him. I'd love to love to see it. Um, I was actually invited. I was oh, you were? invited to, to, to be part of it. Um, and, but it's just like, oh, I'm gonna comment on the validity of Ornish's work while Ornish is on the phone? Like, what, 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 what's that even, you know? It's like, let me explain relativity to Einstein. What are you talking about? Yeah. I, I, he, can, he can handle himself. No, I'm, I'm so, uh, so interested to hear what Dr. Ornish has to say about it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Now, um, yeah, so basically it, they're nitpicking his first study, Lifestyle Heart Trial, right? Uh, July 21st, 1990. You know, that was 30 years ago. He has yeah. since had this, you know, it's not just quantitative angiography, but there's, you know, nuclear imaging. There's all sorts of, there's plaque morphology. There's all sorts of things you can measure. Um, but it, they just had this very narrow, well, if you look at this table, as if over the last 30 years, one table has been published on, I mean, it's ridiculous. You just got to, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm med search, people. Yeah, you've just made me that much more excited to actually see what he has to say on, uh, on Saturday. Hope you all enjoyed that. I'm not entirely sure Dr. Greger is accurately characterizing Dr. Avi's arguments on whether or not a plant-based diet can reverse heart disease. Dr. Avi has published his argument in its full form on his Facebook page. I will also put a link to that in the description down below. Or if you want to learn more about the background of how this debate came to transpire, which I'm not sure if it will at this point, go ahead and click on the thumbnail that pops up right now. All right, y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan, next.